All right, so this escalated quickly. I got here to the spot where I dropped a pin, said I need to check out the swamp bottom. And right from the start, I pull off the, the side of the road and this is just hit me in the face in the sunlight. Quick question for you. Uh, how aggressive are black bear mamas when there's cubs involved? And then, time for huddle hop. Hopefully this bear doesn't come after me while gone. You can see this back here, but the Hurricane Michael came through and wrecked a lot of trees. And now you've got like this dense thicket over here that is chock full of grapevine. And I suspected this area would hold deer and I was right so I'm gonna get my bag on show you guys what I bring out when I go scouting we're gonna do some scouting here we go okay so here's today's philosophy today it's all about finding food sources fresh sign of food sources it's the opening weekend of deer season coming up tomorrow and what I've done is I brought my knockers and I brought my big ones. I didn't bring my little 8x28s. I brought my 8x42s and the reason I did that is because a lot of these trees are still holding up high um, the acorns aren't really falling yet and you really at least for me it's much easier to identify based on uh, like you know being able to look up there than you know watch the ground ground tells you good sign about a lot of things like is a deer using it um, or turkeys or hogs using it um, but I want to be able to look up in that tree and confirm if there's fruit or not um, especially if it's uh, gonna be like if it's there it's holding but it hasn't dropped yet that tells me something too so there's some live oaks back in here I wanna check. It's right off the road, so I probably won't hunt it, but I'm gonna kinda of use it as a barometer for if the live oaks are holding this year. Um, I know that the water, the water oaks, laurel oaks, sand oaks, they're all holding, but that's not a primary food source. So I've got my, my muddy stick here, and I'm probably gonna do like a one stick method where I climb up high enough. I've got some trail cameras in my backpack, a little bit of water and bug spray. <clears throat> And uh, I'm gonna hit these areas. If I find a really hot spot, I'll probably hang a camera. But this one's so close to the road, um, I don't know that I will. But I'm gonna take you along. I already found that one rub uh, driving to here. I dropped a pin and I'm gonna go back to it. But uh, it's gonna be an all day affair, I think. Um, great weather, good wind, it's kind of cool for Florida. So I'm excited. All right, so this ended up becoming far more interesting than I thought it was gonna be. I pushed back in here. I'm seeing a lot of red oaks, but there's this really hard transition area. See this line of red oaks, and then it goes back into this like piney area, and it does the same thing over there. So you've got like this little convergence of three different spots. And I haven't seen much. I've seen some old trails, but uh, I think I'm starting to see some old rubs over here. There's a new one back over there. So I'm gonna go check this area out and uh, see what comes of it. But I'm oh, there's some live oaks right here. I bet you they're dropping. Let's go check it out. All right, so that area is a bust, but if you can tell right here, again, these red oaks are getting hammered right now. This whole area is all deer just busted off right there. That's cool, man. So anyways, you got this little oak grove right here, and this area is just getting like scratched up and tore up, and there's husks everywhere. I think this is a good spot. I'm gonna drop a pin here. Hell, I might even hang a camera here. I can find a good spot to hide it. That tree right there ain't half bad. But uh, I wanna see what's coming through here and hitting this. See what's hitting these red oaks. Cause I, I've always been told, grew up my life, when you see red oaks, keep going, find something else. Kinda hard to hate on this sign right here though. So yeah, keep looking, keep y'all posted. It's kinda cool, learning new things out here. Okay, so I told you I was done with this area, but here's the deal. I just cut a massive deer track. So now I'm really excited that I hung that camera there because who knows what the hell's feeding over there. I'm gonna get the heck out of this area. I found another way in here that I didn't know was here on the way out, which would be making getting in and out a little quieter, which is good. Also means there might be people back in here, so I have to get here early to hold my spot, but I doubt people are going as deep off this trail. I bet you what they're gonna do is set up right here on this trail. Man, the red oaks are everywhere. And, uh, That'll be how I sign all through here too. That'll be how I get to, to, to the deer that they don't. 
At least that's the plan. All plans are great until first contact, I'm told. Sean Clarkson. <laughs> Shout out, buddy. All right. All right, we so are at spot number two on the map. Sign up here for these acorns is unreal. I saw it the other day. Come off the road. And boom! Nice rub right here on this tree. And there's several more back over yonder. What's up? I'm going to try and pick up a couple trees and uh, get the heck out of here. But, uh, yeah, I could be hunting extremely close to the road. I don't know how it's going to play out, but <laughs> we might just be end up giving this a go. So, All right, guys. So I pushed back in this bottom a little further. I don't know if you can see that. I'll get close up if you can't, but there's a rub line quickly developing pretty deep in this bottom. And it's you can see the light over me. It's all open, like hardwood or pine flats. And then back behind me, this is all hurricane damage. It's super, super, super thick. So this is kind of like a nice little natural pinch point where they can kind of, as you can tell behind me, it's kind of open. They can kind of move through here pretty easily, but they've got cover on each side. And I'm sure the thermals, there's a little, pretty steep drop right here for Florida. I bet you the thermals are pretty reliable too. So uh, I'm gonna keep pushing and see what I find. A lot of deer sign back here, more than I really expected to find, to be honest with you. So I'm really optimistic right now. Yep. Just as I expected, another rub right there. Leave these things still green, have been knocked off that tree right there. So I think I'm actually gonna set up a trail camera right there watching this area because he's coming through here and I wanna see what he has. <laughs> All right, folks, I've decided to make the executive decision to get out of here having hung that last camera. And uh, so I'm gonna head back to the truck, get to the third spot, and then maybe it's time for lunch. That might be where I end this video. I haven't decided yet, but uh, yeah, getting on some fresh sign, a lot of fresh activity, rubs. Um, I just set up the camera on two different sets of rubs, so hopefully we get a picture of what's coming through there. So we'll see. <sighs> it's good to be outside. Well, guys, I'm walking down a trail, beat down with tracks, come around the corner, and I'm face to face with a decent little buck. So feeling pretty good about life right now, and can't wait. On, I'm sure you can hear the highway going um i'm not that far from the road this area has been trashed by hurricane michael that's the first time i've been in here since so at least we know there's deer in here i may have figured out why that buck was here it's my favorite tree of all time swamp chestnut oak baby pretty like 99 percent positive that's what that is right there and uh based on the holes it had a pretty good year last year but i wouldn't say it was a booming year, so I'm hopeful that uh, this tree has yeah, a fair amount over there. Hopefully this tree produces again this year, because uh, if she does, not only is it a hike to get back here, it's kind of loud. I don't think a lot of people are going to want to fool with it. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's it for this morning's scouting trip. It is 1 o'clock now, which means it's time for lunch. I'm going to head home, get some water. Got a buddy of mine who wants to meet up with me and scout this evening, it looks like. Um, so we're going to come back out, hit another area. But I've got a pretty good feeling about where I'm going to be come uh, come tomorrow morning. And then we'll shift the plan as that, uh, as that changes. But uh, it's time to eat. This fat boy needs to eat. Y'all be good.